So now you can see, hopefully, um, if you are listening really, uh, the connection between the first reading uh, from Jeremiah and the gospel this, this morning. And you know, the, the potter, um, he or she making a, a vessel or a cup or a pot, um, uh, trying to get it, get it right and sometimes it doesn't come out right, and then they keep at it till they get it, they get it right. And, the, and then in the parable um, of the gospel this, this, this morning, uh, when the fishermen cast out the net, there's good and bad fish, and you know, to try to separate them. How did that apply to our, our lives? Well, look at, just look at your life, and I look at my, at my life, and my life is made up of good and bad, because that's what the parables lately have been talking about. We're all a, a, mix, a mixture. And the wise person, um, I think it's true to say the wise person is the one who um, never lets anything go to waste. Now, by, so let me explain that to you. Um, when I look at my life, um, there's lots of failures, and probably, not probably, but almost certainly, my failures outnumber any success that I have, that I, that I had. And you know, it's, um, I think that's maybe true of most of us. It's good to be able to say, I was wrong. Now, many people cannot say that. We, have, we see examples of that every day. You need only look at the news on television these days. And when did you last hear or see, for example, a politician saying, I was wrong, I'm sorry. I ask you to forgive me. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that person go up amazingly in your estimation, in your op opinion? And just like the potter making the vessels and the fishermen uh, bringing in all kinds of fish and then separating them, we come to God more by doing it wrong than doing it right. If I could, and if you could, get that firmly into our heads and into our hearts. We come to God more by doing it wrong than doing it right. And God never expected us, I don't think, to always get it right. When are we going to learn that? probably one of the most wonderful things we could learn in our lives. So this morning, I leave you with that thought for you to work it out yourself. And the thought is, we come to God more by doing it wrong than doing it right.